Hello everybody, welcome back to Hand of Fate with me, Zombie Skittles. Let's go on, we are fighting the Queen of Skulls. She's gonna have them sweet bone titties. Alright. Haunted. Whenever the player purchases a new item, they gain a curse. All traders have been persuaded to offer cheaper items. Why is that a curse? That so sounds awesome! Death and sorrow in the Deck world. builder. As is typical of me, because I'm lazy, we are using the Reckoning Deck. Can you hear the deck. dirges as the trees and the uh, earth cry yeah. out in sorrow? The only this reason we're doing that, like I said, of skulls. I didn't listen to what you said, mate. Hear. It has driven her to madness. Her touch is the promise of death. And I say to you, you were warned. Farewell. The lands of the Queen of Skulls are unhealthy for the living. Hmm. King Al, oh, there's a few jacks and queens in there as well, actually, I just noticed. The depths of the game that you have attained. Maze of traps. They were too weak or too inflexible, too passionate, or lacking in the necessary will. You are different. Thank you. So yeah, we found a goblin maze full of traps, possibly treasure, and we're entering the maze. Here we go. Oh, that was an unexpected trap. As was that. This is a different trap. This is a different maze to the last one we did. Oh, uh, let's... Nope. Oh, we are doing so well so far. Oh. So, stay out of bushes. Jump over them. Jump over them. Oh, freaking bushes. Oh my god. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Oh shit. We made it. We only lost almost half of our health. That was a crazy good maze compared to the last one. The last one was easy. Let's see what we got. Dealer George, you three game cards. 25 gold. 15 gold. And one equipment. Frostfang! Yes! I would prefer Huge Hammer though. Like, especially when we're fighting. When we're. Ooh, the Maiden. Alright, cool. Now, do I ask for longer life supplies, gold, or ask to be blessed? You know what? Let's ask to be blessed. Let's see what she gives me. By whatever strength my by whatever strength my people yet hold, may you be protected on your journey. Draw one blessing card. Headman's blessing. Any I kill made using an axe grants the player three health. I will have to rebalance that next time. Yes, you will have to rebalance the item that's useless to me because I'm using a sword. Many enchanted item weapons have powerful abilities to contend the tide of battle, but only if their wielder remembers to use them. Oh, thank you for the reminder because I used to have that habit of forgetting to use my left bumper. All right, shop. Of course, so few trade in the land of death that deals are easy to strike. Oh, that's right, because they're cheaper. I have to check him out. In Shady Grove, off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade wandering adventurers. General shops offer a range of items and healing. Additionally, their item prices have fallen. Alright, we're approaching the shop. This is big. We could get some really good cheap items. I don't know how cheap we're talking, but... 16 for the Chains of Rage. Life Slim. That's that weapon we had before. Helm of Reflection. Upon reflecting a projectile, this helm creates a small force explosion. That sounds rad. Um. Yes. A coarse defense, but a valuable one nonetheless. Oh. I don't know if I equipped it, and I don't know how to check what I what I have to equip. Uh, during combat, strikes sustained from bows and wands have a chance to restore your cooldown, so we could go with life slim to inflict weakness. Uh, we're gonna grab nothing else. You can always review. Ah, there we go. Here, Frostfang's equipped. Helm's crown of hide sight. 
Uh, all encounter cards are revealed upon reaching the next stairs. That's cool, but we're going to put on the Helm of Reflection. I'm, okay, and I'm heaps happy that we were actually able to work this one out. Okay. Back. Medium Armor, Frost Fang. And Blessings and Curses. What was Starvation? The player needs to eat twice as much food. The balls. Haunted is whenever the player purchases a new item, they gain a curse. Did not realize that, that was a thing. Probably would have been helpful. All traders have been dissuaded to offer cheaper items. So that's the catch. You get cheaper items, but then they fucking curse you. Here is all you have gained. Okay, I don't really need to see all that. Alright, cool. Well, I guess we're gonna leave the shop. Shit, man. That, that's crazy, yo. Holy Forge. A brotherhood of peace in the service of war. Never trust a priest. On a dust... Never trust a priest. On a dusty, lonely plain, you come across the shadow remains of an old monastery. Search the building, you meet an old man dressed in dirty robes. Long ago... Long ago... We of the Brotherhood forged holy weapons to support the war against infidels. But the infidels were strong, and one day, one of their raiding parties took us by surprise. They destroyed most of our tools and took our supplies, including all of the rare metal ore that we used to craft our weapons. The king's army never returned after that day. I know not what became of them in the years that followed. I have stayed here all these years, but only the ghosts remain to keep me, keep me company. All of the others who survived the attack left long ago. You bid the monk farewell and leave him standing in the silent, empty ruin. Fuck you! Oh, that tears me so much. One night you awaken to encounter three goblins and they're stealing my shit and some lizard people. That's fantastic. That's amazing. Alright. I guess I always had to expect that lizards would be a bit more prolific. Oh, and I don't have a shield to block shit. Should have bought the shield. Oh, I... Jesus Christ, man. Jesus. Flipping Christ. Oh, and half of them are breathing fire on me. Alright, guys. This could be our shortest episode. Really, because I didn't look at shield and I keep running into the traps. Alright, the lizards are dead. What did that do? Why'd you honk a horn, mate? Alright, there's still one more of you. Bam. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Thank fuck. 22 health. And I use up two food to, two food to move. What's well, worse, I can't really buy food. With the goblin threat dealt with, you move on your way. Alright. Cave escape. Yeah, because uh, if I buy stuff, I get more One curses. To find but I chew through food too quickly that I pretty much need to buy stuff. A permanent discount. Mm, another shop. The local color. I'm gonna pass it by. Devil's choice. A cloak devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your might, so called hero. Choose your foe. We're gonna pick two skulls. You're no mighty hero. I will let you live with your choice. Thank fuck. I don't think I could have coped with mages with so little health. Alright. Yo, bros! Yo, bros! Oh, stabbed. Thank you for the easy choice, devil. You made life easier. Because it was an easy choice. Easy.
Excellent, the devil cries. You've passed my cunning test. I have some treasure. Perhaps next time your powers cross, I will kill you myself. Draw two equipment, select one to keep. Spirit walk or hero's antlers. Spirit walk. What's this do? During combat, press the right bumper to become et ethereal, avoiding all damage until your next attack. Could be cool, but what's your Hearn's Antlers do? Lizardmen take double damage from player attacks. Beware. I'm going to take Spirit Wolf. The Lizardmen one would be neat if we were still fighting the Jack of, Jack of Scales. More gold, a little more food, which helps. Dead King's Hall. You see an ancient, ornate coffin in the main burial chamber. It may hold spectacular wealth, but it will surely be guarded. Draw two monster cards. Scales, scales, six scales. Huge success or huge failure because I'm attempting to take them by surprise. A choice. Select your desire. Dang. You are spotted as you approach and the creatures ready themselves for combat. So I could have eliminated four of them in one go. Sad day. That's cool. Six scales. And hey, I didn't take the helm that would have given me more damage against them. Oh, freaking... At least I have a shield now, yo. Come at me! Come at me! It feels like there's so many of them, like more than I should be able to... Oh, that was lucky. Oh. Alright, that... Okay. Whew. I'm, I'm like, my eyes are on my health the entire time. I'm like, oh shit, bro. Like... I'm surprised I gotten this far. Alright, Dead King's Hall. You loot the room, the dealer draws you three gang cards. Max health! Five food! Twenty-five gold. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Loan. Usury. In a busy market town, you're approached by a shopkeeper on the trouble. verge of losing his store. If you lend me the gold I need to save my store, I will repay you one day with interest. Ten gold. Shopkeeper gratefully accepts your gold, saying, You won't regret this! This card's token is now yours. And we got cold payback. After three Very more sets, nice holding more gold. Alright, cool. Rat men hunting. Will this be Our the death of friend the Jack oh, of Plague returns to fight? At least day. it's only him. Or is it? I'm hoping it's only him. It's only him. No, it's not. He has friends. Shit. Pretty sure this was the guy that resulted in my death that the first time, ages back, weeks ago, if you will. Oh shit! All right, as long as we don't poison ourselves, we should be fine. Okay, we're doing well. 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 Come at me. Ah, oh, undodgeable attacks. How about you have some freeze? I didn't mean to use uh, Spirit Wolf, but... Oh my god, we did it. We did it. I accidentally wasted Spirit Wolf, but we did it. What do I get? Come on, I defeated a boss. Finding nothing! I'm angry. Deeper towards our foe. Taking the stairs. All right. I would have loved some food or some health. You know that would have been beautiful. I know you will. Dark dweller. Like all the rest. I've seen some hentai that starts psychic. like this. Your path is blocked by an evil mass of tentacles and eyes. Uh, use your spirit walk artifact. Calling upon the power of spirit walk, you move through the grasping tentacles unharmed. Yeah. Oh, 
evil made flesh, but with no craft or um, substance. Powerful magic. Let's do it again. But unfocused. The what do we get to? Go, Hit your ride. Right to the risk right. of starvation. How am I? Oh no, I've got no food. And I'm losing health each time I walk. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable. Starvation when killed they begin me. To believe wow, I didn't even lies. notice that. So that's what happens when you of lose course, your food. I am different. My powers are genuine. A sad way to end. I had such challenges prepared for you. I know, man, such I know. Is life. It's my fault for taking the freaking. I shouldn't have bought stuff from the merchant. I'll have to remember that next time on the next episode. For learning gold to a merchant, you receive a card that I actually forgot to look at the name of. It'll be a surprise next time we play Hand of Fate. That is an awesome way to end the episode. I, oh, hope I don't ruin it.